guys, Lady Hawk Owl here, the socially uh, awkward witch, or altogether awkward. So what you're looking at right now is the inside of my magic box, also known as my altar. Yes, that's right, it's the same thing. Um, this was an old big makeup box that I used to use for ballet when I was dancing and performing um, when I was young. Sorry, my parents were having fun um, downstairs doing who knows what. <laughs> that sounded so wrong. Anyway. Yeah, so this is, uh, this is basically my toolbox. Yeah, it's kind of dirty, actually, now that I look at it, but... Yeah, I just decided to use this, because I didn't need the makeup anymore, so... And I needed to put all my magic junk somewhere, so... Yeah, here's the stuff on my altar that's temporarily off. Um, let me just take a peek inside. So, let's just start from here. So here's some oils, rocks, uh, a bone, actually, a bone I found on the ground. Yes, I did sanitize it. I think this is part of a bamboo stick. Yeah, this is part of uh, this. This is part of an old bamboo plant we used to have. What's in here? This is... I just got this oil. Yay, cinnamon leaf. Oh, I'm gonna have so much fun with it. And this is pine oil. I've had this for a while. I have a few feathers in here. Some cool looking rocks. Um, yeah. Um, in case I want to do an earth or nature, like rock-based magic, and, um, yeah, and then this is, like, a Indian artifact. My family and I used to walk on the beach, and we used to find these a lot. I live on Long Island, so sometimes you find these things, like, washed up, and I'm pretty sure this was used for cooking, or possibly even incense, because it's totally burn-free. Like, it's the most, um, flame-proof thing you've ever seen, so. Let's see. Let's just go downwards. So I showed you this. This was a weird ass root I found somewhere. He's kind of a little um fragile actually. I think it's an old root that broke off like the oak or something. But yeah, it kind of looks like a giant snake. Yeah, and then some herbs. Celery seed. Uh jojoba oil. Some glitter, which I like to use for the full moon and the moon magic. Still have the price tag on. <laughs> um, another Indian artifact. In fact, I have a few in here. I have that one too. Um, I have an Indian artifact on my altar, actually. It's full of cinnamon and some thyme bits. And then, what's this? Oh, this is more cinnamon. <laughs> yeah, I'm a cinnamon freak. What can I tell you? And I have a napkin in here. I don't know why. Um. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, let's just temporarily put that stuff back. That belongs. Oops. Don't fall over, guys. Thank you. I talked to my altar. It's important. I'm gonna put him here for now. Uh, you go there. You go there. I will fix you later. Then, as you can see, I have a bunch of Yankee candles here. These are the main ones that I use for magic. I don't use taper ones or anything. I like ones that burn... It only burn for a short time, and that are small and cheap. Um, I have like three black ones in here. Purple, blue, green, white, brown, red. Uh, where's my red one? My red one is hiding. Yeah. It looks kind of pinkish in here, but yeah, no. Then, this is some basil. It can't really fit anywhere else right now, but yeah. There's another black candle. I think my moon candle's in here. I think. Is she in here? Oh, what did I do with her? Well, she might be uh, in my closet, actually. Uh, yeah. Anyway. And then I have... Oh, I have this. I can open this with one hand. I have a little uh, Celtic Green Man mandala that I used last year for Samhain or Mavin. I can't remember which, but yeah. You're supposed to be, like, mostly green, but I decided to fill them with some autumn leaf colors. Then, over here, we have some gold thread. More rocks, um, more feathers, a lot more feathers and blue jay feathers. Again, there's abundance. There's an abundance of blue jays where I am, so that's not hard to find at all. A button. My dad used to collect buttons when he was younger. I don't know why, but he did, and he decided. I decided to steal one of them, with his permission, of course. This one is such a pretty green. I always thought maybe I could use it for like a pop, a um, poppet, poppet, right? That's the word. Little puppet. 
um, magic, you know, making dolls and stuff, if I get around to that. Here, I actually, this is weird, it's like a fake thing, it's like a clear stone. I can't get it out right now. But yeah, it was like, um, on like this table display in a drugstore. It wasn't actually like part of the table, it's just there to like fill the glass, fill the bowl on it. So yeah, I just took it, and then there's another one. What is this? A piece of moss. Pretty shell. Pretty green. Spotted shell. Um, there's a lot of rocks here. An acorn! And, uh, a nut. Another nut. With a fur ball on it. Get off. Oh! Uh-oh. Oh no, I broke it. There's a nut inside. I gotta put them back together. Yeah, okay, there you go. <laughs> I'm just gonna use you later. And, uh, let's see. Oh, more cinnamon, naturally. Oh, okay. Rosemary leaves. I'm gonna take you up for a second. Here's some olive oil. Very important to me. Let's go in here for a second. Here's some juniper uh, pills that I, I take the stuff out and use it. More rocks. Bay leaves. What's in here? Ah, more rocks. These are basically, so, um, there's like, um, these burner things. You, know, you put the, uh, the little, um, you put these. You put these guys underneath. And you put a piece of wax on the top and it melts. And then it hardens and turns into these things. And as you can see, I carved some shapes on them. And this one I carved the, uh, the goddess. And then I carved the... Who is this? This is... One second. Okay, this is, um, sorry, somebody was coming up the stairs. This is, who is this? Oh, the Morgan. Why does it say... Oh, the Morgan, it says on top with a crescent moon. I thought it's thin, I was like, what? Anyway, there's a lot of noise in this house right now. Um, more bamboo stick stuff. Oh, wait, that was the stick I had before. Sorry. Let's see, who's this? This is Caridun. <laughs> I tried to carve in a pig shape, a sow shape, but it looks more like a demented cat. Yeah. And then this is must be Danu. Yep, Danu. And it's just a, a black jaguar figure. And one more. Masha. Okay, I know I have a snowman bell in here. Don't laugh at me. <laughs> um, I tried to do bell magic one day, and um, didn't really find any really good bells in the house. Here's another one. This one doesn't do much, though. This one makes no more noise. Uh, yeah, I know, I know, I know. It's a Christmas snowman. And then a little bit of my, of time. I should probably store this in a smaller container since it's, there's not much left. And an arrowhead stone, which I thought was kind of cool. Could be symbolic for um, pointing the direction to something. And, um, yeah, I think that's it. Yeah, so I just wanted to show you my cool map box. Um, so again, I use this for an altar too. Um, I close this up and use it for the altar. Got a spot on it. Um, it's useful, but at the same time, like, if I want something in here and have my altar set up, I have to take some things down and open it up and hopefully the rest of the stuff on the altar doesn't fall off and all that. But otherwise, it's a pretty useful thing to have. Um, if you have an old giant makeup box or something. Yeah, so that's all. Merry part.